Uh, I was in third or fourth grade when I first discovered Prince of Tennis, and I was so addicted to playing tennis. After that, I was devastated when Toonami canceled it. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Toonami didn't cancel Prince of Tennis. Toonami just got canceled altogether. We remember the fallout of 2007, all right? That was a troubling time. Actually, was it 2007 or 2008? I think it was 2008, I believe. Hey, I love Toonami. Toonami was my my ride or die at the time when I was a kid. Because all I would do is stay up Saturday nights, wait till 10 p.m. And then dubbed anime would come on. And that was my first exposure to the rebuilds of, of Evangelion when 2.0 had come out. And I was like, oh my God, two, Evangelion? Mecha is 2.0? What? There's another movie? Whoa. And then I got really into it. Speaking of sports, what's your favorite sports anime? Yo pedal. Like bar for bar, it's yo pedal. It's not as like super, super hype or like, you know, like as dramatic as Haikyuu, but like I think yo pedal is just because I'm so invested in the characters that I love that show so much, so much more. Kuroko no Basket. I don't. Okay, Kuroko no Basket. I I begrudgingly watched, and I begrudgingly watched because this is around the time when obviously what like middle school other weebs were getting into like different shows and like sports anime and like talking about BL, and it's like you know the early like Tumblr days essentially. I don't know, but I will say if there's anything that oh, speaking of basketball anime though, by the way, yeah, the Slam Dunk. Slam Dunk. I want to talk about the movie because holy shit, that movie was good. I don't think if if it ever comes to a point where you have the opportunity to watch the the movie the first slam dunk which is like the last game i think you should go watch it if you don't know shit about slam dunk you should still watch it because it is bar for bar an amazing f movie skate is a sports anime i think skate is not a skate is no skate is just a romance anime i'm sorry you can't call it a sports anime i refuse to call it a sports anime because at some point in time those races are so nonsensical and unless unless someone pipes up and is like this is bar for bar real i also go skateboard racing in the back alleys at midnight every weekend all right listen you did not watch skate for the skateboarding you watched skate because they wanted a case you watch skate because there was tension. You you cannot tell me you genuinely watched it for the fucking skateboard. Do not lie to me. Definitely a love story, dude. That's all it was. Not the call out. I I know I know what you are. I know what you want. <laughs> Is Langa basic? Would you consider if you were a Langa lover, are you basic? I will I will tell you I will tell you one thing. I will tell you one thing. Alira has a type. Alira has a type. And that is red hair boys who are very happy and very in love doing what they do and sometimes may not be the best. But at the same time, I don't want to call her basic because honestly, I get it. I get it. You know what I mean? I think Reki makes sense because he's literally just a guy. He's just a guy who doesn't understand his feelings. And all he does is just want to be the best and try to do his best. And then sure, he fails every once in a while, but genuinely he tried. I think Reki isn't basic. I think Langa is basic in the sense that all you are doing is just looking at a hot man and quite literally the equivalent of like a piece of white bread. Reki is like, is like, <laughs> Reki is the jam to Langa's white bread. He's Canadian. Don't, don't conflate the fact that he's Canadian to him being boring as fuck. White bread. Dude, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Langa is based because of Reki, Renga Supremacy. It's true. It's true. Because Langa then becomes, when when you have the Reki jam to Langa white bread, you and you toast that shit together, that shit's fire. Because he gives him purpose. Because he offers him an out and some an activity to do together while they hold hands and probably kiss in the back of their skate shop. I mean, who knows? But I mean... <laughs> All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, I think he's basic on his own, but the second you tack those two together, it changes. The dynamic is so, so important to it. To be in love is to be changed. True, true. I actually, is this, whoa, 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 actually, actually, wait, wait, wait. Is this the one, is this the, I, I think I might've actually watched this one. Is this the one where it's like the, the two are like trying to fight each other? It's like one dude who's like the sexiest man of the year or something like that. And then there's this newbie who shows up and who's also like, he's like on like a, he's like an actor or something. And then he shows up and then he finds he's like slowly but surely like taking over like the like in popularity and then the the, the original sexy man of the year is like god i fucking hate this guy I, I, you better fucking bleh. and then and then the, the actor the new actor is just like oh my god hey i really like you you want to go out and, and then he's like what and then event i don't remember i'm trying to remember the plot like did does he eventually oh he gets drunk that's what that's what he gets drunk and then they like pick a fight or something and then and then they bone <laughs> I remember that they then bone and then he's like, oh my fucking God, don't blackmail me or some shit like that. Dude, it's, I, I, that unlocked a memory. Cause now that I'm like looking at the characters, I'm like, oh my God, I did watch this. And, and the funniest part was, it's, <laughs> 
I remember the way that I was watching it because it was... <laughs> It was one of those shows that you watch like on your phone when you had the Crunchyroll app because you didn't want to watch it. You know, obviously this is where you're supposed to watch it. So then you would watch it on your phone under your covers at like 11 p.m. like under your blanket. <laughs> and I remember watching all of it in like one night because I found it maybe like after the season ended. And I was like, oh my God, dude. <laughs> Oh my god, I completely forgot about this show. You guys just unlocked like a very core memory for me because I completely forgot. I know we meant I I've seen people mention this title a couple times. I just haven't thought about it in so long and I didn't realize that this was the plot that I had I'd remember. Yariva Sawara Senai. I don't know actually. Have you seen Buddy Daddy's not BL? But no, no, no. I consider Buddy Daddy's BL. You cannot tell me Buddy Daddy's is not BL. All right, Buddy Daddy. It quite literally the ending. The ending. You know the. You know how like the, they take the like the oh photos in the future basically, and they show they show them together when she's like in like high school and shit like that. They raise the kid together. They raise the kid. You cannot tell me that's BL. Listen, I know you're trying to deflect and be like it's not really BL. It's BL. It's BL. Case of Anita's is BL. No one can say different. This is true. This is true. I watched all of Case of Anitas on a plane because I was on vacation and I had nothing better to watch. So I downloaded all of the episodes and I watched all of it. It is BL. It is BL. Also, it, it has my mortal fucking enemy. But <laughs> listen, if there's one man I can never escape, it's him. Saezuru. Ooh, Saezuru was also really good. I like Saezuru. I'm not going to I'm not going to poke more on that bear, but <laughs> Ah, okay, this is basic. I think this one's so basic. <sighs> 10 count. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's basic, but I mean, it's, pretty, it's still pretty good, right? I liked it. Me, me, me. Listen, I'm not going to say that it was bad. I'm not going to say that it was good, but I mean, it's... I liked it. <laughs> I will never bring up 10 count in public. Dude, I refuse. Yeah, that is like one of the few things that I refuse to like mention when I talk about BL because I'm like, people are gonna think I'm basic. People don't think I'm gonna have not no taste if I talk about BL and say ten count. I I think there's like a level of like elitism when talking about BL. If you if you mention ten count, you're just like, Ugh, you're not real. You're not real for that. And I'm like, mm. yeah, ten count is private. Ten count's private. You gotta read ten count at like hazing. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I would never bring up killing stalking public. I don't. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Killing stalking is less BL, as more so just crazy drama. I don't. I won't even call that one killing stalking, dude. My first BL is Junja Romantica. Don't say that. Your age is showing. It is not BL. It is not BL. Thank you. Confirm that shit. 